Hey everyone, Dan here, and we're delighted to say that today's video is brought to you in partnership with Manscaped, but we'll have more about that later in the video. No superhero has an entirely normal origin. After all, taking to the streets in spandex to fight crime has to be provoked by some pretty unusual events. Be it through weird powers or the strange way they are bestowed, here are the heroes whose origin stories are not only impossible to believe, but also impossible to forget. I'm Dan from What Culture, and here are 9 bizarre superhero origins you won't believe exist. Number 9. Green Arrow Green Arrow's backstory is definitely unique, mainly in that it feels somewhat like a writer read a Batman comic, Treasure Island, and Robin Hood in quick succession, and decided to combine them into one wild backstory. Oliver Queen's pre-crisis rise to heroism begins with the almost expected death of his parents, who are killed in a very unexpected method of a lying mauling them, possibly as an early indication that the Green Arrow backstory is about to get wild. Quite literally too, as the other event that marks the beginning of Green Arrow is Queen getting stranded on a deserted island. Although this makes for an individual backstory, the fact it involves him creating a Robin Hood outfit made entirely out of leaves makes you wonder exactly how sane Oliver Queen stayed in his time shipwrecked. The fact that this is the definitive event that led to him becoming the Green Arrow is the strangest part of all as after a long time surviving in brutal conditions, you'd think his first priority would just be to relax. Number 8. Kid Flash Wally West's initial gaining of powers involved him being caught up in an explosion caused by a fight between the current timeline and future timeline Flash, killing Barry, who, with his dying breath, gave his nephew the Speed Force powers. Seeing your uncle and longtime superhero idol die is something of a life-changing event, and so it stands as no surprise that from that point onwards, Wally committed to following the family footsteps of becoming a hero. At least, it would appear that that was his plan, as travelling back in time to prevent the already travelling back in time future Flash is one of the most confusing yet genius actions we have come to expect from the family of speedsters over the years, especially as it comes with a classic heroic sacrifice. All in all, while Wally's origin antics aren't too strange for the Flash universe, any beginning involving time shenanigans is always going to be a little surreal. Number 7. Big Border Villains turned heroes are almost always interesting characters, and as one of the loyal servants to Darkseid, Big Border was basically the most evil, and so it's only natural that her heel turn makes her infinitely more interesting in the world of superhero backstories. Darkseid's warriors are subject to practically endless torture, and while Border doesn't appear to have totally forgotten this, it is impressive as it is bizarre that despite this mind-shattering abuse, Border still ends up in one of the happiest and healthiest relationships in comic history. It shows that redemption is not beyond anyone, and goes far in proving how reformed from her past the Fury is. All things considered, any hero that goes from one of a major villain's loyal servants to a happily married superhero is one as strange as it is wonderful. Number 6. Amethyst the bizarre nature of Amy Winston, superhero alias Amethyst, rests on one question. If you were a magical princess, when would you want your parents to tell you? Amethyst only finds out the answer to this question upon her mother taking her through a magical portal on her 17th birthday. At which point you'd think she'd have found a spare minute to tell her own daughter what was going to happen. The first edition of Amethyst's origin isn't any less strange. In fact, it's much, much weirder, starting with a normal family celebrating their child's birthday and ending with a terrifying orc kidnapping her via an interdimensional portal, all within the span of roughly three pages. It's by far one of the weirdest stories out there. Huh, I did not know that did that. Oh, sorry guys, you just can't be catching up on some Manscaped news there, which reminds me, today's video is actually sponsored by Manscaped.com. Now, as you might know, we here at What Culture can't get enough of Manscaped products, and we just had a new delivery in time for our New Year New You makeovers. Just saying, more people should play the things I recommend. Ugh. Ugh. Why does it look like a naked mole rat wearing a clown wig? Hey, buddy. Nice pews. What are you using on that? As you can tell, there's a lot to love about Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 bundle, which I have with me right here. My favorite piece of kit of the bunch, though, is the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. I've been using this beauty all year, and let me tell you, its design is as sleek and as smooth as my downstairs now is. And that's down to the 4.0's replaceable ceramic blades with skin-safe technology and an LED light that helps you trim with confidence and see your sensitive bits with a sense of clarity that I can only describe as full HD. 
It's also great for beard maintenance. It comes with this excellent wireless charging dock and there's a travel lock feature for when you're on the move. All it takes is three clicks and then you're good. Out of the shower, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant has you covered for clear drying downstairs moisturizing. And on the other hand, or ball I guess, the Crop Reviver Ball Toner with cooling aloe vera gives you that midday refresh. Delicious. Now, nobody warned me when I was younger just how hairy these shotgun nostrils were going to get, but f the Weed Whacker Ear and Hair Nose Trimmer with skin safe technology has all bases covered, and it means that your eyes won't. For a limited time only as well, you can get two free gifts with your order, including this cool shed travel bag and these anti chafing Manscaped boxer shorts, which have honestly just changed my life. In fact, I'm actually wearing another pair right now. Do you want to see? Do you want to see? Finally, sign up to the Peak Hygiene Plan and you'll get refreshments of all your favorite products delivered straight to your door, hassle-free. So go to manscaped.com today for 20% off and free international shipping, of course, as well as these two free gifts when you use our promo code WAT20 at the checkout. That's promo code WAT20 when you check out. For now though, let's get back to that video. Number five, Dead Man. While Boston Brand is interesting for a variety of different reasons, the most potent of them comes with his superhero name. Dead Man is a dead man. After an immoral lifetime, Brand's ghost was put back on earth by Tibetan goddess Ramakrishna for reasons that vary wildly between the original comic and the reboot. Regardless of whether this second chance was for sinister motives or not, the comics that began the tale of the dead guy who solves crimes exemplify the weirdest of superhero origins. Though this alone qualifies Deadman's past as being on the stranger side, the nature of how Brand's past motivates him is what solidifies it as strange. Both the old and new canon flip between the ghost's main goal, avenging his own murder and helping the lives of those he comes into contact with. Add to that the fact that Brand actually wants to kill his murderer and things only get more unconventional. Starting a superhero career with your death is a uniquely bizarre move, but it blends nicely into a classic anti-hero tale of redemption, and one that defies cliches at that. Number 4. She-Hulk Giving blood is a taxing experience at best. Giving blood and finding out the person you graciously gave the blood to is now a hulking abomination because of your blood is much, much worse. Though being able to turn into the Hulk at any time sounds like many of our dreams, the fact that Jennifer Walters had to be shot and critically wounded for the surgery to be necessary is likely to put a few fans off following suit. Although the Hulk comics have never been the lightest in tone, there's something about seeing a politically motivated assassination that makes She-Hulk's origin story feel uncomfortably realistic. All that said and done, while the stuff of real world nightmares, a botched blood transfusion from Bruce Banner is at the very least a pretty unique backstory to have. Number 3. Aegis Being chosen by a god to do their bidding on Earth isn't an entirely unusual backstory in the world of superheroes. Being chosen by a god who doesn't appear to want to have anything to do with you, however, is entirely strange, and also entirely what makes Aegis's backstory so unconventional. Artemis supposedly chose mythological studies nerd Trey Rollins by leaving a magical breastplate in an abandoned warehouse for him to find. Better yet, an entire storyline of Aegis revolves around him being tracked down by Hercules, who believed he had stolen said breastplate. Meaning, not only did Artemis leave the gift in the weirdest place possible, she also didn't make sure to tell everyone that she had taken him on as an apprentice, making her even more of a shady mentor. Though, it is unquestionable that Aegis has an awesome character and some great superpowers. The fact that he obtained said powers through magical hide and seek is undeniably more than a little bizarre. Number 2. Anarchist Anarchist is one of the few superheroes whose powers and rise to heroism is less bizarre than how he discovered them. Tyke Alakar was born capable of sweating an acid that could also generate energy, a trait discovered after developing a need to continuously wash his hands due to OCD. This disorder is founded upon his feelings of alienation towards his adopted family due to the racial difference between them, which means Anarchist has one of the most tragic backstories to not feature parents being murdered in a secluded alleyway. The development from Tyke Alakar to Anarchist is equally bizarre, as the team that Alakar joined, the X-Force, is a team that's commercially based, which is incredibly weird to read for those of us used to the wholesome heroes doing what they feel is right. Number 1. Cloud Cloud is without a doubt the proud owner of the strangest origin story the comic industry has ever created, let alone Marvel itself. This is in no small part because the name Cloud is quite literal. 
As cloud started out as a space cloud or a nebula, given a human form and sent to Earth by Cubic, a cosmic cube. The only not completely surreal part of Cloud's origin story is that her presence on Earth immediately caused a car crash. Significantly weirder is that in trying to heal those killed in the car crash, Cloud would instead take on one of their forms and gain amnesia, a fact those bore witness to her debut undoubtedly envy. Although Cloud would eventually discover her true nature in likely one of the wildest identity plot twists of all time, it's difficult to decide whether her fake or real identity is weirder, as both are completely surreal in their own right. And that's our list. Know of any other bizarre superhero origins? Let us know in the comments section below. You can follow me on Twitter at Dan J. Durkin, and after that, be sure to swing by whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. For now though, I've been Dan, and I'll catch you in the next one.